In this video, we'll see the next part of page setup and printing. The topics include as columns, we can create multiple columns. That is the second one we'll see for the page break, line numbers and hyphenation. Now let us see, let us see the first one that is columns, creating columns in the word. Now for example, if you see, I have written some text over here and uh, that's very small text which comes in, in this space itself. But the right hand space is been wasted, it's been empty. So I can also utilize the right hand side space by creating one more column in the same word document itself. How do I create it? It's simple. I'll just keep my cursor at any place where I want to create a column in the same word document and, and I'll go to this uh, design uh, layout tab and you see there's an option as column. So there is one column, two column, three column. So right now what I'll do is I'll select for two column. So if I click on two column, you observe what has happened. In the same word document, it has created two columns and I can see them side by side. So I'll just show you a print setup. I'll just press control P from my keyboard. It's a print preview. You see your word document would look like that, right? And so I'll go to the next page. You see, it looks like that. If you do not use the columns, it will take more and more pages to print out, right? So I'll just press escape. So this way you can create one more column. So if you want, you can select this three columns in one page. So I'll just click on this three columns. So first column, second column and third column. So this way you can work on that. So I'll just remove all the places, columns and LCS one column. And there are a few more options left and right. You can see that. Yeah. So the next one we have, how do I get a page break? Now what exactly is a page break? Suppose I want to include this text only in the first page, whereas I want to include this text on a new page itself. How do I get it? I can get it by two methods. One is I can use the shortcut key, control enter. So you see I'm on the uh, uh, first page. If I press control enter from my keyboard, I press control enter, you see I'm on the second page. From the second page, it comes at the starting point. That's how you can call it as page break. I'll press control Z and come back. This is one method. The second method, if you want to create a page break is simple. You can go to the layout tab and you can see in this breaks, there's an option as uh, page. So if you click on that, you see what will happen. Again, it will come back to the next page itself. So two methods, one is the, uh, you can use the control enter or second option is you can go to the menu bar or tab you can, and you can select that break itself. Let us see one more example. Uh, the page break, this one, page break but for a column. You can uh, break a column and uh, get your data into the new column. So let us see how we can get it. But before that, we should have some columns. So I'll create two columns here like this. Now you see there's a data given as here as unit one, unit two and unit three. What I want is I want this unit three to come from the second column itself. So I'll just keep my cursor at this place, at this location and I can go to this breaks and you see there's an option as columns. So if I click on this column, observe what will happen. I'll click on this column. So unit three went from here and it has been come to the next column itself. So if you want to break the page or break the column, the best method is you can go to the layout and select this option from here, like page and the column. Similarly, there are a few more options which you can go for the text wrapping. Uh, when there are images, you can go for next page and continuous pages also. That's it. So the next one I have uh, after this page break, I'll, I'll just remove the columns. I'll go to this column, I'll say as one column. Yeah, one column. Next I have, that is the topic is line numbers. If I want to give line numbers to my pages, I can give it line by line. You can get in the numbers, line numbers. And you see there's a continuous option. I'll click on continuous. So you see what has happened is I'll go to the first page. It is the line number one, two, three, four, and so on. So the page finishes at 14. Next page starts at 15. So like this, it keeps on going and till the third page, it starts from 30. What if I want every page to start a new number, right? Every page to start a new number, I can use this method, uh, sorry, line numbers, and you can say as restart at each page. So restart at each page, you see, it started from one, it finished till 14, right? And the new page, again, it started from one. So let us see the next page also. And the next page, if you see, it started again from one. So if you want page number from every new page, you can select this option as restart at every page. Similarly, there are some sections related page numbers or you can say restart each section and suppress. So that also we'll see in detail in the sections part itself. So this is how it works. So I'll just remove the page num line numbers. I'll say as none. I do not want any line numbers. Next is uh, 
next topic we have that is hyphenation now if you see i've written some text on the place and there's some word this is a test document for ms word some data i've written here what i want is i want the text i want the text to be coming here whatever it can fit right so that is nothing but hyphenation from there it can continue the word so here i'll select the hyphenation and i'll click on automatic observe what will happen if i click on automatic this document word will come here similarly this space can be utilized i'll just click on this automatic you see document word docu hyphenation and the next again documentation hyphenation and next so this way i can automatically use my space and it will be continued right so again if i select this automate hyphenation if i click on none so hyphenation went away so this way we can work on the hyphenation part also so i hope you have understood the different topics when you go for a page setup and if you want to take a print out or something these are the things which will be required one is the columns second is the page break line numbers and also for the hyphenation so i hope you have understood understood all the topics